guys, it is I, the Concrete Catwalk. Those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I love all things fresh, vintage, new, nearly new, a space sailing, sailing, you name it. I love it. To my catwalkers, welcome back to a new video this Sunday. Those of you who are newly subscribed, thank you so much for coming along together on this journey. Okay, we have some ground to cover. As you saw from the title, two boxes, nothing written. And I'm sure you guys may have some questions about what that means. Oh, we are going to get into some stuff, honey. Before we dive into what these two boxes contain, I want to share with you two things in random walks. They are not expensive at all. And I think that these will add a little touch of some fun to your day-to-day -day doing your day-to-day. -day. First thing is some mints from World Market. I have eaten some of these, but you guys, if you have a World Market near you, please pick up these mints by Howard. They are lavender flavored. Let me tell you something. When you eat one of these, people are going to be asking you, what is, what can, what smell is that? What candy is that? It's not a candy, it's a mint. If you are a coffee drinker, if you like garlic, if you like, these work perfectly after you've had some kind of a meal and you want a breath freshened really nicely, these are it. So you can screenshot this, just look for the purple wrapper. If you go online, you can buy them, you can go into World Market and you can pick them up. I love these. These are 99 cents. When I go, I get a couple of these just to throw them in my bag. Okay, moving on. The next thing as a run, don't walk. You guys know I have this, which is our book. This is our book. It is something that I only use when there are things that I want to talk about. I put it in this book. However, when I'm doing my day to day and I need to make a list, things I need to get, places I need to go, things I may need to, you know, you get the point. The next time you are in the Dollar Tree, go into their school supplies section. They have notebooks, they have little journaling books. If you're into journaling or you just need a book to jot things down in, you guys, you know, when I saw this book, I was too through. I knew that I wanted it. The page borders are a light blue. The insides are white. They're not lined. So if you want to use this as a drawing book, a doodle book, whatever you want to do book. What drew me to this was this. This gives me Keith Haring vibes to the 10th power. And I absolutely love this so much that I picked up one more just to have as a backup from when this one gets finally full. They have one that has a brain on it with a lightning bolt. Da, da, da. I just thought this was it because I am a big fan of stars and the star and the light bulb was just like, oh my God, run, don't walk to get this from the Dollar Tree. Now that brings us to these two boxes, you guys. Okay, we, we got to get down. We got to go. Those of you who are watching and you're international, those of you who are in the United States, I have two bags from one design house. In future videos, I'm going to get into five Korean brands, design houses that I am totally floored by that I absolutely love. This one particular Korean design house does clothing and bags to the utmost simplicity. The clothes and the handbags have a look that will transcend and carry through your wardrobe for quite some time. I have been looking for a bowling bag. And back in the day, I had a Prada bowling bag. And you guys know Prada bowling bags are trending all in the sudden. And there is a big run up for the classic bowling bag from the 90s that fits right under your arm or that can be carried in your hand. Love the look of the Prada bowling bags and the newer releases of Prada bowling bags that are starting to trickle out and that have gone down the runway. However, when I came across Nothing Written, design house that is coming out of Seoul, Korea, I happened to go on their website and came across a bag called the Nothing Written Mini Golf Bag. I picked this bag up in the color Soft Off White. 
I'm not getting into all the knit and the grit, but here it is. You guys, I am absolutely just amazed at how this bag looks. This mini golf lives up to its name. The mentions of this bag I'm gonna give to you coming in at 11 inches in length, five inches in depth, and six inches in height. And if you include the handles that are on the four inch drop, that gives you a total height with the rolled handles of 10 inches. This is all soft leather. The handles are rolled leather. They're stitching around the borders on this. It has one simple zip and it is silver toned with the leather pull tag to open and close it. This is the tag that is hanging here. I still have it stuffed. It has nothing written for the tag right on the inside. There is a zipper pocket also on the inside, one zipper pocket, and this is all canvas lined. This leather is so soft. There are no feet at the bottom and that's okay because this leather is very durable. I don't think that this is going to be an issue, maybe just but for the color and I'm fine with that. The size of this bag, it is not a big bag. This is a bag that you could just put your essentials in. I have a lot of what's in my bags that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. This will be a what's in my bag with no exception and a full on review of this bag will follow as well. This all leather mini golf by nothing written chimed in at $270 for the size and for the craftsmanship. You would think that this bag would be much more expensive than what it is. No, I debated whether or not I wanted to get this bag. Asking myself, do you want it? Do you don't want it? When the bag arrived to me, I was surprised at how small this bag was. I kept looking at the other classic golf bag. I have not carried this bag as of yet. I love this bag. This bag will not be going back. But I kept thinking about the large size version of this golf bag and I decided to purchase it. So let's move on to the nothing written large golf bag. So here we have it. And let me just set this up and say this. I did not purchase these bags from nothing written. I got them through, and if I mispronounce this, correct me, but sense is where I ended up getting these bags from. On the Nothing Written site, both of these bags are sold out. So I began to search and I ended up going to Sessence. In this drawstring sleeper bag, the Nothing Written large golf bag. You guys, when I took this out of the box, I was too through. It is giving 90s, minimal, simple. You can just do your life with this bag. I have not put anything in this bag as of yet. When I tell you the size is more like me, woo, I am going to take this paper out. Look at this. It is all, again, canvas lined. There is one zipper pocket with the black leather pull tab across. It just gives that silhouette that says, oh my God, yes, here I am. Look at this, just like the smaller version, it's going to stay structured. If you wanna put a bag shaper in here, I'm sure you could put a bag shaper in here and get a smaller bag shaper for the other one. I myself, I'm not a fan of bag shapers. I like bags to just take on whatever shape they're gonna ultimately end up in and that is fine with me. I have a feeling that with this bag, and also with this bag, the more they get carried, the much more softer that they're going to become. Again, with this bag, we have the rolled handle contrast stitching. On the other bag, the stitching matches the color of the soft white color that it is. But this has a beige stitching that pops really nicely. And if you look at these corners, the stitching comes up to here. This is the type of bag that 
I can just see myself going from work to whatever, open, roomy, and spacious. Now let me get into the measurements with this. Mini golf, you guys, you have the measurements. So the measurements for the large golf bag, the length on this is 14 inches. The width on this is six inches. The height on this is eight inches, this to this. And the total height, including the handle, is 14.5. These handles are roughly six, six and a half on the drop, but this bag is amazing. This is one of those brands, when I started looking into their accessories, I could not stop looking at this bag, but I knew that I wanted a bowling bag and I wanted something that was gonna be that bowling bag shape, but not so bowling bag-ish. I just felt like, it was going to answer the question to what my needs would be on a day-to-day. -day. And this bag would answer the question of what I want my weekends to look like if I just need to grab it and go and I need phone, money, keys, and a couple of cards and I'm out the door. This bag will do that very nicely. And I like the fact that this bag is a size that's workable but still can do essentials plus a teeny bit more. But between the two of these bags, I find a design house or brand that does bags really, really well. Kurt Geiger, if you go back two years ago, when I did those unboxings for the Kurt Geiger XL and Macro bags, I feel as strongly about those Kurt Geigers as I do about now these nothing written bags. These are the type of bags that are falling under a price point of affordability where it is comfortable. Could you figure for the price of both of these bags, the grand total came up to less than $600 for two bags that are all leather and look sophisticated and look extremely stylish and are going to carry over many, many years in a wardrobe. I appreciate the look of this. Nothing written, I think the name is very appropriate for the style sense and the sophistication that these bags send out when you carry them. Sleek and very now. That is what was in these two boxes. If you are interested, I am going to leave the link to Nothing Written site down below. I am also going to leave Sassense site down below if you're interested in looking for the mini golf or the large golf. This bag also comes in a, a camel brown color, which is absolutely fabulous. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts about these nothing written bags that I shared with you. Would you consider one for yourself? Are they too minimal for you? Or are they right up your alley? I love these bags. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday, so if you do not want to miss out, tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be listed in the description box below. You can head on over to Poshmark, check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If you see anything there that you are interested in, please feel free to leave me a message there or head on over to Instagram. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. You can also feel free to DM me there if there's anything in my Poshmark closet you are interested in as well. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now.